Hello and welcome back. Happy Samhain Eve. I hope wherever you are that you're having the most amazing October and that it feels like Samhain for you. For me, it has not felt like very samhain -y. Like this month has been weird in so many ways. It's felt like five different months. Um, I've been dealing with my own stuff and eclipse season has not helped the weird feeling. I don't know, it's a very weird vibe. I can't explain it. Maybe it has to do with what's going on in the world. Or like I said, eclipse season, but for me, it's just been, it's been a weird, it's been a weird month. And I would think tomorrow is like October 8th or something, not the 31st. And that November is, <laughs> what day is it? Wednesday? That's freaking crazy. But anywho, today we're going to be doing the Fly Monkey Totes box for Samhain. I'm really excited. I want to say this feels like a book, which if it is, I, I can't freaking wait to see it. And there's also something here which I have a sneaking suspicion as to what that is. Um, but either way, I'm super freaking excited. I will be doing a giveaway because um, for the the box for, I think it was Lunasa, I pulled a winner. I waited like two weeks for that person to get contact with me, never heard from them. Um, so I've held on to that box as well as other things that I've gathered throughout to include in this giveaway. Um, Tomorrow my schedule might be a little bit crazy because of, well, one, it's Samhain, two, it's like my last week of my sewing class, uh, which like finishes late in the evening. But if I can get my shit together and do it in that window <laughs> between coming back from Pilates and walking Horace and giving him his lunch and having to get ready to go to the sewing class, I'm gonna try and record a video and upload it there so you guys can get a chance for the Lunasa box that she did and also, like I said, other things. Um, but anyways, I will leave the link to this one, um, not this one, <laughs> to the one for Yule for the next box. Uh, the link for that, I'll leave that down below. Again, I'm such a freaking hot mess. I'm sorry, I'm like so out of it. It's just been, like I said, it's been wild. Um, so anywho, um, I will link this box for the next Sabbath down below. This box, I believe with shipping is like, I want to say it's like 16, $69, somewhere around there. Um, but all the exact information will be down below. A huge thank you to Sarah for sending me this. I can't wait to get into it. Um, but yeah, let me know down below how you guys are having, how you guys are having, what kind of an October you guys are having. Hopefully it's going uh, a little bit more smoothly than mine. I've been having really intense dreams like all freaking month. They're freaking wild, man. And they just have me in like in a weird headspace. Uh, but yeah, all right, let's dive in and see what we got. I'm super, oh, it is like a book. Oh, that is so cute. Look at that, that is so cute. So we got a skull. And some symbols around there, I think. That's what it looks like on the side. And then it says Samhain 2023. Ooh, how cute. Oh, look at that cute little skeleton key. That is freaking adorable. Like a literal skeleton key. <laughs> uh, that is beautiful. Okay, I'm excited for this. If I can save it. You never know what you're going to need some thread for. almost there. My nails are so short. I just keep breaking them on things. All right. Ta -da! Ooh, okay. I need to pop this side. Hmm. Sarah's so sweet. Okay. And we have some skulls. I was just watching all of these TikToks for the Catrinas in Mexico and it looks so freaking cool. I wish I was there. I love being in Mexico during this time of year. It's so fun. Okay. And then we have her business card here. Okay. And then we have a Samhain prayer. If you guys want to pause to read about it there. Oh, it's so cute inside. Okay. 
Let's open this guy because I'm, I'm dying to see if it is what I think it is. Oh, it is not what I thought it was. Okay, that's always fun. <laughs> it's even better than what I thought. Oh, it's so cute. Oh my God, the other day I was walking Horace and I passed like a murder of crows and um, I was like, what the hell are they doing? But, you know, or was it a murder of ravens? I don't know. It was one of those birds and it was a murder, okay? And as I'm walking, I see one pick something up and I thought it was like some kind of carcass on the road. And he like flies back up to the tree and then I was wearing a hat. And so I, I was like looking down at Horace cause he was like sniffing something for a thousand years. And I'm like, what are you doing? And as I'm looking at him, I feel something drop on my head and that crow or raven, whatever, it dropped a walnut on me. <laughs> It was a little gift. I was like, oh, sweet. And so that's kind of what this reminds me of, my little... And then last night I had a crazy dream about an eagle, an eagle drone warrior. And so just birds, man. But this is so freaking adorable. I'm going to put it right up on my altar. Super cute. Okay. All right. And then we have some tea. It is Bourbon Street vanilla it's rooibos calendula almond cinnamon almond oil and safflower Ooh, that almond oil is probably makes it taste sweet let's smell it mm, it smells good I need, to, I need to make me some of that that sounds like a dream i'm also off coffee it's been like i think today's my fourth day with no coffee and no caffeine not just not coffee no caffeine which has been, it's been real. <laughs> Where is my little opener? Oh, here we go. Okay, the next thing we have is something like this. Oh, how cute. And we have a cute little, I think a crystal cat. The pentacle. Cute little eyes. I really want a cat. But Horace, I know, would not not be happy with that. But they're just so stinking cute and they crack me up with how stealthy they think they are by like <laughs> disappearing into walls or like freezing. Like if they freeze, Horace won't notice them. It's like, I see you. I see you. <laughs> okay, let me get the papers out before I get into the other items. Then we have our Samhain Ritual. It's really cool artwork, I love that. I love the hands. Come on, work with me. There we go. And then we have our content card. This is Happy Samhain. say that's that's the onyx and it's for inner strength protection wisdom alignment courage self-control all right the next thing we have here is something like this Ooh, we got a cute little tapestry we got ways to hang it up Oh, I love this. This is super freaking cool. Hopefully there'll be enough space here to show you guys. Can you guys see? I'm trying to figure out this freaking tripod. Okay, so it says the world. It's gorgeous. I love that. I'm like, where am I going to put that? I want to put it in my room, but it won't match all the blues, but I think I know exactly where I'm going to put it. I love that a lot. That might be my favorite item so far. That's just beautiful. <laughs> right. Of 
course, of course. And the next thing we have is a jar of cedar for purification, protection, healing, contacting the spirit world. It's antibacterial, antiviral, antifungal. And it's also been used in funerary rites by the ancient Greeks and Romans. First time I've ever used it. But I did mess with it because I was filming my bookshelf. So I had to put my camera that I haven't turned on like a whole year to put it on there. So I messed with the settings. Um, all right. And then we have a little card here with a cauldron. Looks like on a crystal. Maybe some amethyst about Selwyn. Let's see. Um, by October's end, the doorway to the dark half of the year swings open. The waning sun is swallowed by the dark of the night. We transition to autumn with one foot in summer and the other in the long winter to come. It is a dance between extremes. What it was is no longer. Stark changes remind us how we are shaped and reshaped by the passage of time. This hallowed phase invites us to descend into our inner darkness to honor our, <laughs> to honor our ancestral self where we are now and from where we have come. The veil between the living and the world of the spirit is now at its thinnest, allowing for more interaction between the two. The doors to the worlds of the spirit, the dead, the deities are now open, thus allowing them to enter our world more freely. The end of life now meets the beginning to make this an ideal time for us to honor those that have come before. This change of season that leads us to our descent into the sacred dark represents the inevitable, death itself. Going inward, our task is to bring forth the light of transformation. This reflective time as the wheel turns to darkness invites us to dive into the shadowy depths of our own inner landscape. During this time of contemplation, as we recall the past and plan the future, we may want to ask ourselves the following. What has come to an end? What has been lost? What am I grieving? What am I afraid to look at within myself? What must I embrace in the darkness? What dreams are in my heart at this dark time, as this dark time is upon us? Well, shit, I just feel a little bit called out by these questions. <laughs> Uh, it says, Asawan is sometimes referred to as the Witch's New Year. We are called to reflect the events and goals of the past year. It is a time of introspection, a time to remember the past and plan for what is yet to come. Wishing you a blessed Asawan. Awesome. Okay. And then we have something like this. Yeah, it's like it feels like a charcoal disc. And it is a charcoal disc. And then we have hollow and patchouli. Oh, jeez. Okay. We have some more of those really fat ones, which I like. I'm just struggling. <laughs> Of those here with like little joints, I wish. All right, let's see. They smell good. These just take a little bit longer to get going. I'm just making a mess over here. That smells good. I thought it would. I mean, Palo Santo always smells amazing. Okay, we got this. A plant. And we have our candles. Ooh, they smell really good. It's like lavender. Mmm. No, it smells damn good. Woo! That is potent and I love it. I can't stop smelling that. Ah, oh, okay. 
and then we have the Wheel of Fortune. I love that. On here. Put that on the necklace. And then we have something like this. Oh, how cute! I love this one. Ooh, I like it. I like it. So we have a pendulum board. And it says rephrase, yes, maybe no. And then on the back, it's black. And same stuff. I like them both, but I think I might prefer the white. Okay. Come on, you damn telephone. Okay, hopefully that will help. We have this for how to use your pendulum. Oh, this is a cool one. I like that. We have amethyst, looks like copper. And then a crystal quartz point. And then we have more crystal quartz down here. Let me quickly run it through this incense and cleanse it so it can be attuned to give us the answers we seek and then we'll do like a each of us will think of our own question in our mind and then I'll hold it over that and see what answer we get sounds good to you sounds good to me <laughs> okay all right so clear your mind and think of your question oh I guess maybe use this hand so clear your mind and think of your question. Okay, ready? Here we go. So I think it's going to rephrase. <laughs> so I guess we're all getting a chance to ask this question again. Okay, let's try this out. Let me get my hand more stable over here. I can put it down. Okay, are you guys ready? Here we go. Okay, now it looks like we're getting a yes. For sure. Okay. That's awesome for me. <laughs> All right. So I put that down. Okay. Now let's go to the card here. That's everything in the box. So many goodies. Love it. Um, here we go. Okay. So... Yeah, the crystal is black onyx, a little kitty. And then raven figurine. Perfect. Okay, so that was everything that was inside of this month's box. I absolutely loved it. Sarah did an amazing job. Um, if I had to pick a favorite, it's going to be a tie between... Like, I love the way these smell. That oh, smells so good. But I absolutely love this tapestry. It's amazing. I also really dig the, the serene, gentle like energy from this pendulum board. Sometimes pendulum boards can be a little intense and have like sensory overload by like all the stuff on them. This is really simple and like calm. And I really like that. And I feel like the answers also came in that way. Um, I also love the statue a lot. So yeah, it would be between these guys as my favorite let me know down below what your favorite is and then hopefully I can get my shit together and I'll put stuff in the giveaway and record that and upload that tomorrow so you guys can expect that video from me if not I swear I'm gonna film my bookshelf again it's just really hard between like my work schedule and everything else um to have the time before I'm depleted <laughs> so okay oh my gosh thank you guys so much for watching and uh, again, a huge thank you to Sarah for sending me this box. I can't wait to play with all these goodies. And if 
Um, this is the only video watch of mine. I hope you have an absolutely magical Samhain and a wonderful new year.